Hey guys, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're on our 2.5 liter Ford uh, engine project. Bring the camera right on down and what we're going to do is check crankshaft in play, okay? What we've done so far, we have our crank installed, lubed up, torqued down to specification, and we have a dial indicator set up right here on the end of the crankshaft, okay? As you can see, we're set up right there on the very tip right there. It's a magnetic base dial indicator. And if you need one, guys, we'll put a link down below in the description. We'll find one on Amazon and put a link down below. Um, so I want to show you um, what you do here to check your in-play. Now, the specification on this engine is anywhere between four thousandths of an inch and eight thousandths of an inch. OK, and if you've never used a dial indicator before, each one of these little marks here is one thousandth of an inch. So you can see we got it set on zero and you can zero this anywhere you want to. And, and there's 10 marks, puts you at 10 thousandths of an inch, okay? So first of all, let's see where we're at. The crank will move back and forth this way, anywhere between four and eight thousandths of an inch. So we're just gonna come right in here in the center because it's about, that's where these big counter throws are at the moment. And we're gonna take a pry bar. We're not gonna pry like crazy or anything but we just want to move the crank one way or the other. So I'm gonna I'm slide the crank uh, all the way back, okay? I'm gonna give it a little pry here. I'm also gonna take, you can take a dead blow hammer like this right here, and you can give it just a little tap. You know, you're not gonna hurt anything with a dead blow if you need to just make sure you've got it as far as you wanna go with it. Now, after you do that, we've moved the crank back as far as it will go. We're gonna come down here and zero this, okay? We're gonna get as close to zero as we can. So right there, it looks like we're dead on zero. So now, take your pry bar, put it on the opposite side of number three and pry the crank this way as far as it goes. So just give it a little pull, nothing crazy. Give it just a little tap. You can come back here on the back of the crank if you want to. Give it just a little tap back here. Make sure that we're always that way. And then let's go over here and take a reading on our dial indicator. Notice that we are between the four and the five. So we're, so we're about four thousandths, just a tad over four thousandths of an inch clearance, which is within specification. Remember I told you that the spec was between four and eight. So our end play on the crankshaft is good to go. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check the description down below for some cool stuff. Have a great day.